with Hannah LaMonaco. Welcome to LaMonaco Labs. Here, <laughs> So here I have a cup of water, some bubbles, a paper towel, a bowl, a big chopstick. <laughs> I'm going to pour the liquid bubble mixture into the bowl. And as you can see, when I stir it, many bubbles are forming. There you go. Now, as you can see, I have a liquid mixture of many bubbles. Now follow me to the freezer. Now I'm gonna put the bubbles into the freezer. As you know, I put the bubbles into the freezer. The bubbles are now going through the freezing process, from a liquid to a solid. <laughs> the freezer is taking away the thermal energy of the bubbles, since it is really cold in there. Okay. By taking away the thermal energy, the particles in the liquid bubbles go from a moderate speed to a low speed. As you can see, now the bubbles are formed into a solid. Just so you can Here's a picture for you to get a better understanding of what it looks like. These are dish bubbles, but as a solid. For these solid bubbles to turn back into a liquid, you have to add thermal energy. This process yeah, is yeah. called melting. From a solid Just to speed up the process to a liquid. of it turning into a liquid, I'm going to put the lighter over the bubbles. Alright, you can stop the video. By putting the lighter over the solid bubbles, it is giving the solid bubbles more thermal energy. So as you can see now, the solid bubbles have now turned back into a liquid from the process of melting. Just so you can see. Because the lighter heated up the solid bubbles, it gave the particles more thermal energy to move, causing them to go from a low speed to a moderate speed, a solid to a liquid. This is a picture that is comparing the particles in a solid and the particles in a liquid. As you can see, the solid particles are tightly packed together in minimal movement. The liquid particles are rolling past each other with a little more energy. As you can see here, I have a bubble mixture in a pan boiling. Here, I am turning a liquid mixture into a gas by adding a lot of thermal energy. Now, as you can see in this video, the liquid bubble mixture is boiling a lot. The liquid particles are gaining more thermal energy and are turning into a gas. After 20 minutes of constant boiling, as you can see, the whole liquid bubble mixture has boiled into the air. Boiling is when the whole liquid turns into a gas. Now in this picture, you can see the liquid particles compared to the gas particles. In the liquid particles, they are closer together and moving at a slower pace, rolling off each other. The gas particles are more spread apart and have more energy or are bouncing off one another. This concludes how you turn bubbles from a solid to a liquid to a gas. Oh, wait, I have a laugh. <laughs> A syringe. A syringe. A syringe. <laughs> Why do I have a syringe now? Oh, I didn't even need that. It's okay. Now I'm going to put the bubbles into the freezer. Is it the freezer? It's the Thank freezer. Thank you so much, Emery, for videoing this for me. You're so kind. No. These chops are so like a bit sushi. When I stir it,